Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Uh, today is Tuesday, April 16th. I'll be going over my recap for today. Uh, so, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching um, and for the continued support. So, okay, let's get started. So, the first stock that I have here is ASUR. So, ASUR, I had uh, a flag here uh, during the morning. Uh, so I bought the flag break here and you can see there wasn't uh, a lot of volume during that uh, break um, uh, But I end up selling um, uh, Half a share here and uh, Most of the there um, and then I just uh, Stopped out for a small loss here and that ended up being just a $13 winner on the long side um I tried to go short, uh, okay, yeah, I tried to go short right here, um, during this, remove these, so I went short, um, during this, uh, what is this, uh, 8-12 break, uh, you can see a little wick, I held through that, and then, uh, when it hit, when it, um, fell to hold VWAP, uh, I can see a little cup and handle for me. So I went ahead and short uh, re-added when it broke above these low. Um And then it kind of popped back uh, to retest VWAP. Um, it started to fail. Um, and then I went ahead and took some profits uh, during these lows. And then my next target was, uh, or my final target was these lows here. So I just took profit on the, along the way. Um, and then I think I took it all out here during this these lows here. Um, and then it kind of uh, had a little bounce uh, towards VWAP and kind of fizzled, but um, that was a $125 winner. Um, and then I have JMIA here, so I made a few mistakes here. Um, although, um, so I started ahead short a little early here. You can see, uh, let me see, let me see men here. Uh, so here you can see it's 37, uh, I think 37.32 here, 37.32 again. So it broke 37.32 here uh, with a 37.25 and it kind of stalled here a little bit. Um, and then I, I went ahead and short it because um, I thought I was going to, you can kind of see it's a little of a uh, descending triangle. Um, I kind of broke it, uh, but it didn't uh, have a follow through. So I should have stopped out, uh, you know, earlier when it's stalled because I don't like to hold it um, when I'm not in, in the money right away. Um, so, but what happened, I wanted to risk off of uh, the 37.50s here or 37.75. Um, but uh, it kind of got squeezed and then there wasn't any like dip for me to get out. So I ended up st stopping out pretty much high of day. Um, and I think that was for like a... Uh, a hundred dollar loss um, so it was uh, a bigger loss than I anticipated because of the slippage and the spread was uh, pretty, pretty ridiculous so every, every stop was pretty uh, high spread so uh, my risk was fifty dollars but I ended up taking a hundred dollar loss because uh, it didn't have a great dip for me to um, to exit um, my next trade was this here, so I saw another opportunity and it was like a small cup of handle here. Um, I went ahead and short here, um, and then I covered uh, at these lows. Um, so this one I made back uh, like $70, um, and then I end up taking another short here. So, so in the bigger picture, my bias was uh, uh, long. Because on the two days, you can see, you can see it's forming a huge cup and handle and it's flagging around this area. So my bias uh, before I got into this trade was uh, long, um, but I end up uh, just playing, playing this uh, flag here. So there was there was a flag opportunity, and I I totally because it was creating this lower. Uh, lows here or lower high I, I end up trying to sh uh, short um, short here uh, and then with my wrist off here and then I remove I move my wrist 
uh, to here uh, when it was a lower high. But what ended up happening was like when it stopped me out again, it it had a bad spread, so it ended up stopping out uh, more than I anticipated, and that was like a uh, hundred something dollar loss. Um, but overall, yeah, three shorts, um, one successful short, and two fell shorts, two fell shorts, and one one successful short, and another fell here, and uh, the losses were a little bigger here because of uh, the bigger spread. And right here, I use stop, uh, market order, stop market, and it ended up stopping me out more than I anticipated. But it went all the way to the high of four, uh, 48 here, half the hours. So, but I totally missed this. This was an intraday, intraday breakout um, with a uh, multi or two days, two day, um, two day time frame breakout. So you can see there. Uh, so Qcom, so Qcom, uh, after I had some news, um, they end some uh, uh, agreement with Apple. Um, so I, I saw this overextended. I normally don't sh uh, trade after hours, but I saw this was like extended. Um, so I went ahead and tried to, uh, I was trying to pick the top, so this wasn't the best idea. So I ended up shorting here, uh, adding more. And this this was still uh, holding holding the five minute trend. So I I wanted to short here because it was overextended in the five minute and I wanted to retest the five minute. So I ended up covering when it hit that five minute. Uh, took the rest there and then this you can draw a line from this previous high and that was my target. So uh, that was just a quick thirty six dollars. Uh, it was pretty small, but I think the the risk was pretty high. I sh I shouldn't have uh, traded this. Uh, and it just seemed like it was overextended and it was uh, a bad trade overall. Uh, RWLK. So RWLK, uh, I took I took a loss uh, on the long side here. Uh, so fifty seven dollar loss. Um, and I was trying to buy. I was trying to buy this uh, breakout here. Um, for um, I think on the daily. So on the daily here, you can see there's a small gap, um, but this uh, area here was pretty strong, this gap uh, resistance here. Um, and then you can see uh, 445, 445, 445, 445, 445. So it held 445 like five times. And pretty much I tried to buy here and then you can see a lot of wicks, a lot of wicks here and then a lot of wicks here. Um, so this stock was a little uh, difficult to trade um, just because I think there's a lot of manipulation here um, and then just a lot of uh, big sellers say. so when I saw this like triple top on the 445 um, I I need to learn how to identify this uh, quicker and then just stop out um, but if 445 uh, break I think it would have been a good squeeze all the way up to the, the gap fill there but I ended up stopping out there for a fifty-seven dollar loss on the long side, um, and then I had saw okay, so I, I tried to short here, so I had to short here, and then I just covered, and that was just an even short, um, and then towards the end of the day, um, there was this uh, bear flag happening, so you can see this bear flag, uh, it broke, and then you can have another flag extended down. Uh, so I I started short uh, during this bear flag with my risk on just above this uh, trend line, uh, and then I end up uh, just covering. I think covering when it was hitting these lows, um, uh, but then it, it went uh, farther. But that that was a hundred forty five dollar uh, winner for this short. Um, so overall, uh, I think I. Did pretty well in managing my losses. Um, JM at IA was a little tricky one. It just had a huge spread and my stop, uh, although I was wrong, uh, my anticipated stop uh, loss should be only maybe $100, uh, $50 from these two losses. Um, but the spread kind of uh, killed me. But uh, I, might, I might have went too much size. So um, pretty much, uh, of a total of $63 for today. Um, 
Yep. And as always, uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.